Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you need IT consulting, go to willyhow.com, fill out that contact form, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. In the last Synology DSM video, we upgraded our single disk NAS from uh, DSM 6.2. something to the new DSM 7. In this video, we are going to go ahead and create a volume. So, what we're going to do is we're going to click on the handy dandy start button there and we are going to go to storage manager and the storage creation wizard now starts. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to walk through this wizard and raid type has to be basic because we only have one drive. So when we do this on our 918 plus coming up, you're going to see the different options for the different raid. But in a single disk, you're only going to have this basic. And I've got one drive. So we're going to select uh, that and we're going to click next. And it says drive one contains data from another uh, storage pool. Please confirm. Yes, I do want to use this. This drive has been in here, has had other stuff on it. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Now, you can either uh, perform a drive check or you can skip it. So if you have um, bad sectors, you're going to find that up front or you can find it as you go, which could cause some sort of issues. Uh, I know this disk is good. It's not been giving me any problems, so I'm just gonna skip this for now. And then I'm gonna say next. Um, we could actually put a volume description in here uh, of uh, Event Horizon 1. And then apply. All the data on the newly added drive will be erased. Are you sure you want to continue? The answer is yes or okay. And now we're going to see this load. Now, once we have uh, a volume on here, then we can start installing apps. Until you have a volume and you have storage, you can't you can't put any apps on. So, volume one is creating the file system right now. So let's go to the overview. It says our system is healthy. You can see if I uh, click on the drive, it says it's not initialized, not initialized. So it is still. Uh, working on that. We'll go back here. If I hold the mouse over it, I get some information. Let's go back to our, our uh, volume here. And you can see that it is still creating and it started populating some of the information over here. If we go down here to our HDD, SDD, you can see this is a Seagate 4 terabyte drive. And it is in our DS120J in our storage pool. It says that the allocation is normal. It says this drive has the Synology system installed on it. It is assigned to a storage pool. Health status is healthy. Temperature is a nice 77 degrees Fahrenheit, 25 degrees centigrade. Serial number, firmware version, it is a 4K native drive, no. So now if we go back over to this, you can see we've got our volume one. Um, everything appears to be good. So we should, in theory, be able to install a package. So we're going to come over here to Package Manager. And you should always read the terms of service. Now, we're going to look at all the packages. Now, the packages that are available for your Synology will show up. If there's a package you can't install, it is not going to show up. So uh, you can see we've got a lot of packages available to us. And there are so many new things with DSM-7. And they've updated so many different things that I'm, I'm trying to decide what we're going to do first. Look, and you've got all this third-party stuff that's in here. Uh, let's see. Secure sign-in, that's something that we need to go over. Proxy server, something that we're going to get, get down to. Mail station. Uh, let's see. There's an LDAP server, of course, Hyper Backup we're going to get to. DHCP server, which we use all the time. Let's see. Uh, this one does actually support surveillance stations, so we'll probably do that. We'll probably take this single disk as far as we can, and then uh, we are. I, I do. I am going to do the the 918 plus because. Uh, I want you to see the different RAID configuration options and things like that and show you what we can do with a box with a little more oomph. Um, so you tell me what's the first app you want to see installed on DSM-7. I'm going to leave it up to you. Leave it down in the comments 
what app you want to see me install first and configure. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe, please comment, and share, please follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Those links are down below. If you'd like to support the channel by becoming a patron on Patreon, that link is down below. And all of our affiliate links are down below. They don't change your price, but they do kick a couple bucks to the channel. Once again, if you want to see more Synology videos, make sure you're subscribed. And uh, as always, I'm Willie, and I'll see you in the next video.